thinks kind of decolonial stewardship of land. It begins with the recognition that humans are not superior to non-humans, that humans are not the owners of nature, that humans, that nature is not an object. It, it, it requires a, a true shift in a cosmovision and a metaphysics of relate, relationality of how do we relate to the other that's not me, to someone who is so different from me, to this plant, to this tree, soil, to someone so small, so, so much tinier than me, this microbe, soil microbe, right? Like in our world, in the Maya world, in Mesoamerica, in many of our traditions in Native America, we understand that everything lives, everything is alive. And what that means is everything must be respected. And so what it entails for us to truly store the land means to recognize that, yes, we as animals and human beings are all animals, we're in the animal kingdom. And how that makes us different from plants is that we have to eat other life in order to live. Plants make their own food with photosynthesis in the sun. But as animals, we have to have this ethical question of how do we live by having to eat other life? How do we do it so that we're in balance, so that we can respect all life as sustainable? So these are very profound ethical questions, ethical questions about life and death that we don't spend very much time on, especially under Western modernity, a lot of these things are just kind of assumed. You know, we don't have to be taught that there's an above and below. We we're, we're forced to practice it all of the time. With, for example, in schools, we get ranked according to how intelligent we are, according to very, very narrow measures. A, B, C, D, F, right? Like, and there's always this ranking that makes it very difficult for us to to develop ourselves and all of our beautiful differences. Like in kind of how you were talking about, like with the reorganization of life, like whose superpowers is what? How could we, with everyone's difference, create the society that, in, that, that needs everyone's differences in order to be strong? So the idea of being strong because of differences, not in spite of our differences. So stewarding land, requires a cosmovision that respects difference in the most radical way. How do I share the world with someone who is not me? And that is a principle for someone who is similar to me, for someone who is very much not me, and also for me internally, the me, because we are not just one way. We have a lot of contradictions internally, right? It's understanding this I am we, uh, of the Bantu people uh, all over Africa, understanding of the me as a collective. If I were to then summarize the response, it to steward the land, it requires that we understand each other as a greater collective, not as the individual, the hyper-individual of Western modernity.